Hi guys, what's up? Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're just gonna do our favorite, like I guess our acne products. We I we we like we like. How about using... stuff that we use for acne prone skin? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did a video like last year and then we just did a get rid with me on her channel about relationships so make sure to go check that out yeah hannah and i like we have like acne prone skin and a lot of you guys that have followed me for a long time have probably seen me post pictures of my acne prone skin my acne skin from a while back and um, my skin has gotten a lot better since then but i still break out especially during the summertime when it's really really hot and sweaty i like today. break out all over here when I first met her last year, her acne was like pretty angry mm -hmm. and inflamed and then this year, it got like it's a like lot gone. better, like yeah. a lot better so I'm like, I'm really really happy for her and she's, I, I just thought she was the perfect person to help us showcase like what products she used and what, what criteria she, I guess has for stuff yeah because <laughs> like when you're acne prone skin i feel like you're a little bit more picky with stuff mm -hmm. and if you don't know what to use like you will like look into stuff a little bit more yeah and i'm sure you've tried like so many things yeah i don't think i'm so as like well versed as you though I don't know. like i yeah i feel like you really look at the ingredients but for me it's like i i just kind of Feel it on your I skin. feel it on my skin and I and I see how it reacts to okay. it. Okay, that's good too. Like yeah. I do try a lot of products too, mm -hmm. so that's why like for my videos, like it's hard to like keep just using the same thing just because I have like a whole drawer of skincare. But these are like our top like always go to. Yes, I guess. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the thing that seriously like it just saved my skin. So it's Curology. This seriously changed my life. Like I. Yeah, I had really, really bad acne just like all over here. And I don't know if you can see because I'm wearing makeup now, but I, I have like pigmentation under. Um, but I was struggling with it. I got really bad late last year. And I started using this at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. And by like four months, I was like, all my skin was like flat. Like yeah. I still had like scars and pigmentation and it looked bad, but like it was like flat. There's yeah. no pimples. Right now her skin is like flat. It's just like... You have some hyperpigmentation yeah. from old acne, mm -hmm. but relatively, like, there's no, like, active breakouts. Yeah. And, like, for the longest time, like, when I talked to Hannah, like, she was struggling so much with it that, like, she changed her diet. She didn't, like, let the dogs touch her face. Mm -hmm. And she, it just, you know, sometimes it's really, really frustrating. Yeah, so. I, and I would always text Ivan. I'd be like, what do you think I should use? Yeah. Like, do you have any? And, and he gave me really, really good ones. Yeah. It's just, like, hard, like, because everybody's skin, skin is so different. different. I think like a big part of it also is like don't stress out too much and it's hard to not stress out when your skin is stressed out but mm -hmm. it just adds on to like everything if you're like stressing out also you know yeah, yeah. so try to like breathe and realize like acne like getting clearer skin is like a process and it's mm -hmm. a lifestyle so it's not just these products but these products really really help um i really like la roche posay as a brand in general this is their purifying foaming cleanser it's a uh, fragrance free and sulfate free so i tend to go for fragrance free and sulfate free products whenever my skin is breaking out uh, when it's not breaking out and it's fine i can use nat natural fragrance like a little bit of essential oils and i find that it doesn't sensitize my skin but if you have really really acne prone skin you want to stay away from fragrance like, something he told me to so yeah i really like this it comes out in like a gel form and it actually suds up and um, is this yeah, a makeup know. remover like is this the first cleanser or the oh second? no uh, i use a cleansing balm before which mm -hmm. i'll link down below also but this is like the second cleanse that i use i reach i i just really like it and it's affordable just because it's such a huge bottle too so, so yeah. speaking of like a cleanser oh, yeah, yeah. this i actually discovered this because when i came over one time last year i asked him for a, a I couldn't bring my cleansing oil so yeah. he gave me a bomb and yeah. it was this E Nature Moringa, Moringa cleansing yeah. bomb that weekend I was here for three days and this 
helped I think because I was using this and yeah. it took off my makeup really yeah. well like my skin my acne on my forehead went down yeah. I don't know if you remember that me saying that while I was at your place but and then right after I got home I bought it nice. and this is like my third bottle yeah um, yeah if you guys have really sensitive skin I'm I mean this worked for me and I have sensitive skin and it's really really gentle yeah um, and I, I don't know I really like it it's really sensitive on my eyes yeah. too especially it like, has like a herbal scent mm -hmm. so it's not like a like a flowery, perfumey fragrance, um, but I find that it's really, really gentle. And this one actually removes all the makeup. Yeah, like yeah. it just removes all the makeup, so I really like it. And yeah. also, it emulsifies really, really well. Also, like when you use warm water, it just melts it all. Yeah, it's the best. Like I used to use cleansing, like cleanser, cleansing oils. Yeah. Um, but now I'm just using this because I just love it so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. And if you notice, we're sweating. <laughs> it's because it's 115 degrees here in Los Angeles yeah. <laughs> and um, the AC is off because it makes a lot of noise. So yeah, so we're drenched. <laughs> Our armpits are like drenched right now. We're trying I, right now. It, well, next up, I have I like this um, Etude House Sunjung Toner when I'm breaking down. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's like fragrance free, alcohol free, and just a really like mild and soothing toner. Has like panthenol and I think vitamin B5 and it's like pH balanced, so it's not gonna strip your skin. It's not those kind of toners where it dries up your skin, it's one of those that like conditions your skin and just calms it. And um, I find that using this doesn't aggravate anything, actually it just soothes it. And you can even use it as like a mask with a cotton oh. pad and just put it on the areas where you're breaking out. And just a really gentle, Does this one simple smell? toner. No, no fragrance, nothing. Mm. So it's, I, I just really like it. It's just, just like everybody could use it if you have like oily or dry skin or even when you're breaking out. This is this is not gonna aggravate it basically and it just hydrates it lightly. Um so I use so this is the like moisturizer that I use. Mm -hmm. Um and this yeah, was like this yeah, too. this is something I, I had a lot of trouble with finding because um sunscreens and moisturizers yeah. were things that were I could tell if I used the wrong one would break, make my breakouts worse. Yeah. And it's like that feeling too, mm -hmm. having it on your skin. Sometimes it, that feeling alone can make me break out. Like when I'm like itchy, yeah, and like I feel like there's like a, whole, a thick layer on my mm -hmm. face. Like I feel really like gross. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Um. So this is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And before this, I used to use the one with the purple lid. I don't remember what that one. Well, la la, re, la, la retro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I really like that one, but yeah. the thing is, it's, it's thick. I see. Um, so I couldn't wear it during the day. Um, mm. but this is they made this and it's thinner and it's yeah. kind of like a jelly yeah. kind of thing. And this one is, I think it's fragrance free too because um, drunk elephant stuff is really really good for acne prone skin just because mm -hmm. it's all fragrance free and like dye free and I think alcohol free. So it's really really gentle on the skin and. Yeah, that one just really hydrates the skin without a heavy feeling. Yeah, a lot of yeah. creams, like, sometimes they are too light and, like, my skin feels a little dry yeah. after I wash my face. Yeah. But this one is perfect. I just need, like, one good pump and then yeah. I dot it around my face and yeah. it just feels so good. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah, that one's really... It's a really solid, simple moisturizer yeah. that works. Yeah. Next up, I have, like, two serums that I really like. And these are the Centella... This one's by Cosa RX, the Centella Asiatica Blemish Ampule, and this is the Sika Pair by Dr. Jart. They're both um, Centella Asiatica based serums, which is um, which is an extract that really helps calm inflammation. And in studies, they show that people that apply on burns help burns heal faster. So it's a really oh. good anti-inflammatory. I find that when, when I break out, they work really well to calm breakouts without um, harsh exfoliants or like benzoyl or so things like that. Is it like when you have like a cystic pimple, like one of those like big red ones, and yeah. then you put it on and it just makes it less red kind of? I, yeah, I put it all over actually just because like I get red here too mm -hmm. and I get red like around like the inner corners of my face. Um, but these, these help calm it down essentially. Okay. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, they're just like slightly moisturizing, not heavy, and it just calms down my, my skin. The next one is 
I'm, I'm traveling here, so this is like a travel size version. Yeah. Um, but this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum, and I'm sure a lot of you Yeah, that one's know really, really good. Yeah. So HA yeah. and BHAs are just like chemical exfoliants that help, I guess, exfoliate gently mm -hmm. without like any uh, harsh particles on the skin that can cause micro tears. It just works really well to like resurface the skin and bring out any, um, it removes like dead skin cells and stuff like that but I find that when I have like breakouts it brings the breakouts to the surface better so it can like yeah. sort of come out and heal itself. It definitely made my skin a lot smoother yeah. and less texture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything with H and BHA is going to refine your pores and pores will never go away that's just it but you can do it in a way where like it just it's more refined, like it's more exfoliated, it's shinier. Every time you use this, like you'll find like your face looks like it's glowing. Yeah. I'm gonna time out because <laughs> it's so <laughs> I was like looking at you and I was like, oh my gosh, your nose is sweating. I know, it's yeah. so warm. Am, am is my nose sweating? No. I don't sweat that much as I much as other on people, my face but a lot. Yeah. I can feel me starting to sweat. It's like really my boobs hot. are sweating. Yeah, my yeah. armpits are Sunscreen, let's we can just say it together, I guess. Oh. I really like this dark elephant sunscreen. It's 20% zinc oxide and it's a physical sunscreen. For acne prone skin, I recommend using physical barriers instead of chemical. And how you know it is you just look at the ingredients and it says zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. These two ingredients will be physical blockers so um, it's just more gentle on the skin and zinc oxide is actually used as a diaper rash cream also is one of the ingredients so it's actually very soothing for the skin and very calming um, mm. sometimes people when they say they're allergic to sunscreens most of the time they're allergic to chemical sunscreen uh, which is absorbed into the skin a physical blockers actually just makes the rays bounce off the skin so it sits on top of the skin so Physical sunscreens work immediately once you apply it. Chemical sunscreens take 15 to 20 minutes to work because it needs to be absorbed into the skin, which is why yes, I you know so prefer much. physical sunscreens. <laughs> but uh, this Drunk Elephant one's really, really nice and lightweight. Have you tried it before? I haven't. I need to, though. Yeah, you can try it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, I'll try yeah. it. It's really watery and lightweight, and it's just great. It's SPF 30, so um, and it's a big bottle, too, so I really like this one. It's a great Um, Mine is... The Elta MD Skincare UV Clean Clear Bar Broad Spec. <laughs> Broad spectrum. Yeah. Um. So I actually, this is one of the biggest problems for me, breaking out from sunscreen. Yeah. So I tried a ton of sunscreen, and I found this one because I googled good sunscreen for acne, acne prone, prone skin. skin. Yeah. And this one came up. Um. And it says calms and protects acne prone skin. Mm -hmm. High purity. Niacinamide. Yeah. Niacinamide. So niacinamide is an ingredient that is vitamin, I think it's vitamin B. It helps brighten up the skin and calms the skin. I have so it on my really, Curology really bottle too. Yeah, it's a really, really good ingredient. And also this one, the both UV blockers are zinc oxide and... Okay, so this one is um, a hybrid sunscreen. It's half physical and half chemical. Oh. Yeah, but the zinc oxide will help calm down the skin. But this one is a really good sunscreen. Alta yeah. MD makes really good sunscreens. Yeah, and I've been testing other ones, but um, this one is like the one I want to talk about if you are um, if you are having like problems with your skin right now. Um, maybe try give this one a try. Yeah, yeah. And um, a lot of UV sunscreen, uh, physical sunscreens cause a white cast. Um, this one seems like it does not. Yeah, cause not a white it's cast. it doesn't for me. Yeah. yeah. So if you have like a medium to deeper skin tones, you might want to go with that one. But lastly, I just like this as a treatment. Like this Coast RS Centella Blemish um, Cream is just a really, really good spot treatment. Uh, I haven't really found a good spot treatment just because either they dry up my skin too much, they burn, or they make my skin flake. Mm. So this one's really gentle. It just calms skin. The same ingredients, Centella Asiatica, and it just stays in place. It causes a white cast though, so I use it only at night. But I'm really generous. Is with this it. the same as this? Yeah. So is it? But this is a cream form, oh. and I just like apply it and like it just. Contacts. One thing so, that I also used were those pimple patches. Oh yeah. Saved okay. my life. Yeah, pimple patches are one of those things. Like, use it when you have like the head. The right? head is coming out. Yeah, yeah. So it'll like suck it out without actually like damaging your skin. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and letting us talk about our acne. 
Mm-hmm. Skin. I hope it helps. Yeah. And like this stuff works for us. Yeah. And these combinations of skincare routines or whatever work yeah. for us, but they might not work for you. Yeah. But like, I don't want you to feel like nothing is going to work for you. Yeah. Cause that's how I felt. Like I felt like I'm on, I felt like I'm going to be like this forever, yeah. but just please keep like testing things out. And like Ivan, I mean, Ivan's like information is super, super helpful. Um, and like, you can just, just keep trying things out and seeing yeah. what, what works for your skin. And then the next one could be it, you know, yeah. if you give up, you never know. So, yeah. um, and be like an educated consumer, not just listen to me, like listen to mm-hmm. what you read and stuff like that. So. Um, really try to listen to your skin also. So, if you guys ever feel down, you can always reach out to us. Yeah, for yeah, sure. We definitely know Understand. what you're going through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it sucks. Sometimes, like, back then I used to, like, not even want to go out if I broke out. And I still feel like that, especially if, like, there's a... It looks like right here. <laughs> yeah, like, I really feel like I just don't want to go out, but... Yeah. Just don't yeah. stress, be confident, and, you know... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go check out Hannah's channel. We did a Get Rude with me on her channel. I'll link it down below. And thanks for chatting with us. I hope these products help you. And if you've tried out like better products that have worked for your skin or you know works for other people, link it down below or comment down below so we can check it out too. I love trying new products. And I just want to say thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>